2016 was really a spectacular year. Uh, we um, reached our 1.1 million people screened and uh, we um, achieved almost to the figure of 50,000 site restorations. team is working fantastically well and uh, all the comments from experts who come to see the work that the team are doing are amazed at their ability and, and, uh, and their devotion to the work that they're doing. We're still faced with uh, at least four million people needing cataract surgery. We go to places, we reach the unreachable, and we actually um, go not only here in Bali to the isolated villages, but we also go to other islands as well. That's been made very, very, uh, a lot easier for us by the assistance of the, uh, of the Indonesian Air Force and their provision of a Hercules to, um, to take our bus and our uh, 20, uh, 25 staff to isolated islands. The mobile clinic is, has been developed to be a state-of-the-art surgical theatre. Although it's located in a bus, it really uh, is more like it is. It has sophistications, it has sterility, it has uh, air conditioning, it has all of the features that would be found in a um, in in a in a in a hospital. providing a mobile unit that would be able to be taken anywhere, taken on a ship to somewhere, taken on a plane to somewhere, or driven to somewhere. Funding is always difficult and it has been under pressure. One of the things that we can do is we can actually involve the donor in the experience of actually seeing their money spent. That's good. It's not sufficient just to give. You've got to get something back from that. And the joy of seeing people actually being helped with your money is the way to go. Uh, so my name's Justin Lee, I'm the Deputy Head of Mission at the Australian Embassy in Jakarta. Um, very pleased to come here today to see the work of the John Fawcett uh, Foundation. Um, some really excellent work being done uh, to help the people uh, here in Banten. The history of the John Fawcett Foundation starts off, amazingly enough, with cleft lip and palate. We have done somewhere around about two and a half thousand children. Now, much of this is due to the fantastic work of Tim Cooper from Perth, West Australia, who has done most of the teaching of the surgeons that we use for this particular 
a solution to this particular problem. John contacted me in his usual style. He hunts you down and finds you. He found me in 1997. It's a common enough defect in, in Indonesia and many of the people can't afford expert care and the foundation allows these women to raise their children with hope again. A person with a missing eye, a boy, will not get a job. Same with a girl, she can't get employment. Later, that girl won't be asked to marry. Another easy way to improve a person's life, and that is to provide them with a prosthetic eye. Ya percaya diri aja gitu karena kan daripada enggak ada bola mata kan lebih bagus kan lah. Saya ucapkan terima kasih sama Pak Mr John, Pak Dokter sama Pak Wayan juga. These children were born blind with the congenital cataracts and they um, they have never seen in their entire life and this operation which has to be done in a hospital we can't do it in a mobile clinic because we have to give them a general anesthetic saya eh, semoga anak saya bisa melihat dan eh, bisa melihat ibu bapaknya We do with the FECO machines, with the very fine incision. And take out the, all the cataract and insert the new implant. And afterward, I hope tomorrow we can take out the pads and the fissions will be better. It's, it's a monumental moment and uh, the, the expression on the father of seeing his daughter see for the first time. Yeah, that's right.